this video uh, we can take a look into the commands that we used for transferring uh, the files uh, from local file system to HDFS and HDFS to local file system and within HDFS. So the first command I am going to uh, use here is uh, copy from local. So copy from local command is used for uh, transferring something from your local file system or your uh, Unix file system. So this is my location and inside that I have some file. So this file I am trying to copy from my local uh, file system to HDFS. So I have HDFS directory HDFS DFS ls slash user training. So I am going to upload this file into this HDFS uh, directory. So for this I can use uh, copy from local. So HDFS DFS if I copy from local then what is the file which file you are going to upload this file and uh, under which destination yes so this is my source file again you can use the complete path if you are copying from some other location or relative path also will be fine so I am just using the complete path to the source and this is the destination inside HDFS copy from local so I have copied the contents uh, by using copy from local so I can uh, go to this directory and verify whether the file is copied or not so I can use HDFS DFS ls slash user training right so the file one dot txt so this is the file which I copied <coughs> so I can check the content by using the cat command so hdfs dfs iphone cat command so if you want to uh, read the content of a file which is located in hdfs you can use the cat command okay so these are the contents of this file right so what i am doing is i am just uh, okay i i don't want the contents uh, I, okay i'm changing the contents of this file and uh, I'm just deleting everything okay then after that saving new file one dot txt okay so this is a new file right so what I'm doing here is so HDFS DFS copy from local and file one dot txt slash user training if i try to copy uh, this way so this will fail and saying the file already exists inside the directory and if you just uh, read the content by using the cat command so that will be something like our old contents that is a very long list right so what i want here is i want to copy that but i want to replace so what i can do is instead of going and deleting uh, that content uh, i mean slash user training file one dot txt removing and uh, copying again so i can use the flag iphone f so iphone f will override the contents so i think uh, there is some exception okay so some checksum error fine because we change that file uh, content and see whether it's updated or not okay so it's not updating <laughs> okay I can use uh, this option ignore CRC Second, I'll have to troubleshoot that. I think uh, so. This is uh, failing with the uh, CRC check error. So we can use the copy from local option, and uh, the similar to copy from local. So we have another command called put. Okay, so HDFS uh, DFS iPhone hyphen put. So this is also used for uploading the files from local file system to HDFS slash user slash training. So this will upload 
uh, this file into this HDFS directory. So put command is also work in the same way as like so copy from local. So if I check HDFS DFS and I find ls, <coughs> I can see the contents <coughs> in sal dot log also uploaded into this HDFS directory. So we have seen how to upload a file from local file system by HDFS and similar way uh, we will do how to download the files from HDFS to local file system. I am just creating a directory uh, uh, test uh, download because I can go to that directory nothing is there then HDFS DFS hyphen copy to local. So we have used copy from local to upload and copy to local to download on which directory if I want to download in the current directory I can use that. So copy to local option is used for downloading something from in HDFS to local file system. You can see that in cell.log this file is there. Then there is one more command so that will uh, work in the same manner so that is called get. Okay, so we have get and put is for uploading so get is for downloading so this work in the same way as copy to local so now if you check the content so, so file onetxt is also downloaded the get command is used for downloading files so next we will uh, see the command like append to file option so for that i have one file i just write a simple text file and that contain uh, this line so i am uploading this file uh, into hdfs i can use put command or copy from local uh, to upload that so hdfs dfs iphone put slash user training so i'm uploading this uh, file into this directory and i can uh, see the content from cat command so cat command will uh, list whatever the uh, file uh, from hdfs so this is an hdfs file so but i can see the content by using the cat command so uh, what i'm going to do here is i just want to append something to this file so how to do so the one method is download that and edit the content and upload it again so but there is another easy command called append to file so yeah so i'm just using the file add dot txt okay so i'm going to append the contents of this file to this file okay for that what i'm using is hdfs dfs append to file then what is the source and to what is the destination right so the contents of this file will be added to this file okay and i can see the cat command to read the contents here how it looks like so the new contents so contents from the file underscore add will be added to this one so this is how we can use append to file command